Welcome Gemini, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. In love, whatever relationship that you need guidance with, might not be a romantic one, it might be with family or friends, um, it could be um, in the workplace, it could be romantic, yeah, anything. Okay, so let's have a look here, just trying to Every time I shuffle these cards, they go a bit wonky on me, and I like holding them straight. Okay, so Gemini, three cards for Gemini, please. One. Next card for Gemini, please. One more card for Gemini. Okay, here we go. Okay, Gemini, first card here is sexual union. Honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Beautiful, I really love that. I feel like um, Gemini, it's it's um, actually also about honouring the um, the root chakra and the sacral chakra as well. Maybe for some of you, there is some clearing that needs doing here. Um, but yeah, but when you when we think of honouring the place, honouring the place. In one another, where you are one eternal soul. To that, to me, that actually means the heart. But anyway, let's have a look further into this sexual union for Gemini, please. Tell me more about this. I just wonder for some of you whether you are yet to come into this union. Um, this says, cheer up, live in the moment. Live in the moment. Is there something in the past that you're holding on to? Potentially. Getting in the now. Yeah, see, this is overcome by emotions, I feel. Right? And letting letting um, anything that needs to be let go of come to light. Okay, we've got slumber. Yeah. Slumber and nest. Ah, so there's a rest period that needs to happen. <sighs> mm, mm. See, there are those of you who actually want things to happen super fast, but there's this necessity for it, for you to take a step back and have a rest, okay? Because all things come at the right time. You can't rush things. You can't force things. Yeah, so it's like the eggs here. You can't force them to hatch, right? You can't do that because if, if they break too soon, whatever is inside them is not necessarily going to survive or if it does survive, it's going to struggle because um, it's, it wasn't the right time. So it's really important for you to make sure that you are taking the time that you need for your rest and rejuvenation, but also to honour this heart space. Get the clearing done that you need to get done, okay, in your heart, in your sacral, in your root ch chakra, okay, um, so that you can ground yourself, so that when you come into this union here, Gemini, you are, I want to say level-headed, it's not um, getting swept away with whatever it is that is ta taking place for you. You're able to decipher uh, what is the best thing for you rather than um, rather than being influenced, I guess, uh, by... Uh, Influenced is the wrong word. Um, 
I want to see rather than looking at things through rose-colored glasses, which is interesting to be saying to you, Gemini, um, because there's so much of this, you know, back and forth between the two twins that it's very hard to see things through rose-colored glasses. But there's that other twin that is in the background going, Gemini, you know, Gemini, don't forget to look at this, this, and this. And yet the one wearing the rose-colored glasses is very loud. It's a lot louder than the one saying, Gemini, make sure you keep balanced. So yeah, we have animal bond. Stand up for all animals. This is interesting. See, this to me, I feel like a saying to keep your eye on the things that mean a lot to you. To not get lost in the crowd. Not get lost in whatever it is that other people are thinking or are doing. That you stand true to your own beliefs, to your own values and morals. Yeah? Wow, wow. Yeah, see, Root, look at this. This is about the Root Chakra staying grounded. Okay. Um, because I see this person here, right? Regardless of the fact it says animal bond, I feel it's more about the illustration here. I see this person getting carried up and um, it's like, sort of trying to be something they're not and part of this Gemini I feel like yeah getting swept away getting swept away like I said earlier in things that are not meant for you um, be very mindful of not changing yourself to suit the circumstances uh, also this root here whatever it is Gemini that you have um, come to grow in your life you've worked really really hard for you and you've had to fight your way through things to get to where you are it hasn't been an easy journey for a lot of you so I just want to say here to to Make sure you're standing strong in that, okay? Don't forget, don't forget the trials and tribulations that have led you to where you are today, okay? And don't let anyone take that away from you. Because you have done, yeah, you've done the hard yakka. You know, you've done the hard yards and um, there are people out there who will absolutely try to mislead you and they don't have your best interests at heart so be very mindful of this okay cosmic child see this here this person opening their arms here and we've got this star I feel like it's opening up this heart here right um, to connect to connect in to connect in with, it's not just about the sexual union here. It's not just about that. It's about connecting in with who you truly are so that the union that you bring into your life is not one that is just sexual. It's more than that. And this is what I feel like this is saying. In fact, I would take out the word sexual here and just use the word union because I think as a society, um, it's a, there's, there's pretty much everything is sexualized. And so if you want to look at the true nature of what that is about and um, what it is designed for, right, to procreate, 
then I feel like it's getting down to um, to really, like it says, to honour. Does it say honour? No, it doesn't say honour. Oh, yes, it does. Honour. That, that, that place in one another, right? Honour the, um, the act for what it is and the, um, the magnificence for what can be created, okay? I feel like coming into union with something is going to create something quite incredible in your life. It doesn't have to be to do with a um, sexual nature or of a sexual nature. It can be that it's that something is going to birth and um, something's going to hatch and it's going to be incredible. But like I say, it's allowing things to happen with organic timing. You can't force and rush things, okay? But know that that is there for you, okay? Okay, wow. Twin flames. Your passion ignites. Well, this is a sacred bond. This is really sacred. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Gemini, let's have a look further into this. Tell me more about Twin Flames, please. Gemini, and what else do you, what else do you even say about that, right? I don't like how that came out. One more card. Which one? Okay, yeah. Okay, so we have originality blaze your own way and we have a creative wonderment follow your passion yes yeah, see this is it right this is about you becoming one with everything in your surroundings you becoming one with who you truly are so that this union um, can be honored for what it is okay so i love this rainbow and amber okay so this is this again see this is this um sacral chakra here okay um i feel like there needs to be an alignment on all the chakras and particularly work on the sacral chakra here okay because this is where this is going to come from for you this originality and by getting everything to an, a, into alignment here, Gemini, that's going to allow you to step up and step into your power and step into who you truly are. Because when you're being original, um, and this is the thing, Gemini, you have that flair, right? You have that flair where you can bring that through. You know, you can be the one to be that... Um, trailblazer right blaze your own trail see look at this look at this person up here right this is the trail that they're blazing like it's actually blazing before you even walk upon it and it's there this is a path and then you go and add your own color to it just by walking it just by being you they actually don't this is the thing right i don't know if you realize it or not but you don't actually have to try at all all you have to do is be yourself, okay? It's not about striving for something. It's about dropping all the defenses, all the, um, all the fear of judgment, everything that holds you back, dropping all that away in order for you to be you, okay? It's sort of like there's, um, there's those of you who have the idea that you have to do something or, or be a particular way or learn something in order to reach who you truly are. But in fact, it's the opposite. It's all the stuff that needs to be dropped away in order for you to shine. Creative wonderment. Follow your passion. What are you passionate about? Some of you, it's music. Right, some of you are, are walking the stairs to find it. So some of you it's gardening, but there's it's it's the naturalness, it's the naturalness of who you are, Gemini, that needs to um, come out, I feel. Okay, so let me just pick one up off the floor. Wow, okay, so we've got shelter. 
see this is you seeking shelter this is this fear um, of of the unknown and um, this next card here the tree remembers right here's the thing Gemini you're the tree and you're hiding in yourself you can be who you are going to be but you're hiding you're hiding in the shadows you're hiding in the darkness right but the tree remembers who it is the tree doesn't have a question as to who it is the tree stands in its power it stands in its glory it stands in its wisdom and it moves with the breeze it moves with the gales right it weathers the storms and it remembers it always remembers who it truly is it doesn't need to question it doesn't need to compare and it accepts the admiration that is given to it yeah gemini okay so this card here if you could be oh, sorry if you could do anything what would it be the answer dwells in your heart not your mind for the heart is the gateway to the soul perfect yeah because ultimately we're talking about a union here twin flame union which is sacred and special right and in order for you to come into this union it's important for you to be you authentically in order to honor that so that when your counterpart comes in there's uh, the connection which is not ego based not from the mind it's from the heart right so this is why it's important for you to be in your heart in everything that you do I like how that came out two cards two cards please for this card for Gemini that's it nice that's what I'm talking about. We have Archangel Raphael, provider of healing for mind, body, and spirit. Beautiful. Yep, see, look at this tree. Look at this tree standing here. It's in the space of the heart chakra, right? Standing there, strength. Knows what it's about. It knows. There's no question, right? There's healing to be done here, Gemini. Okay, so let's just have a look at this further before we turn over the other card. I don't even know what it is yet. I'm a little bit excited. Okay, Archangel Raphael. Two cards. They, they just kind of fall out and I don't like how they're coming out. Two, there we go. Let's get that. Okay. Okay. Cocoon stage. Interesting. Yeah. See? There's a massive transformation going on for you. No doubt about that, right? This is allowing it to happen. Look at this. Resting, yeah, waiting for things to happen. Okay, doing the hard work, doing the hard work that you need to do right now on your own. Um, do you know what, Gemini? Even if you're in relationship, um, it's still important to do the work on your own, the work that needs to be done. Okay, because what you're doing is you're still adding to the hive. It doesn't mean that someone else around you isn't supporting you or other people aren't supporting you or aren't doing the work to add to the hive. They're doing their own work, which is their responsibility. That's not yours to that's not your responsibility to do for them, just as your work is not their responsibility to do for you, right? And it doesn't matter if someone has has um you know, is, is going through their own stuff. It's okay to still be in this um, connection, yeah, if you're in it. I get a feeling for a lot of you, you're not. It's coming, though. It is coming, Gemini. Okay, so leadership. Set your goals, yeah. See, this is about pouring into yourself regardless of anyone else around you right now pour into yourself okay yep shadow here we go look at your shadow okay and your inner garden because by looking at your shadow by shedding light on your shadow right that's going to um 
that is going to help you look at the things that you don't want to look at. These are the things that we don't want to share with anyone, that we don't want anyone to see, that we want to keep in the shadows, okay? This is you denying part of yourself that exists, that is part of you, okay? By keeping it in the shadow and not wanting anyone to see it, let alone yourself, you're denying who you are because the shadow is part of all of us. It exists. And when the light isn't shining, I heard this the other day, when the light isn't shining on the shadow, it still exists. The shadow still exists. It's only when the light is being shone upon the shadow that the shadow dissolves and disappears. But when the light is, is elsewhere, the shadow still remains, right? So our shadow is still there, okay? The inner garden here, this is about what we're growing, okay? Because don't forget, the inner garden, like the garden itself, it still remains in the nighttime, in the shadows. When the light is not shining upon it, it still remains. It doesn't go away. Yeah, so never forget that, Gemini. Never forget that and know that by doing this, this is going to allow you the strength to come through and the light is going to shine but what's going to happen Gemini is you're going to walk so staunchly in your power that the light can't even keep up with you. That's how incredible you are. So, yeah, Gemini. This is interesting too. I notice here the um, ring fingers are down. And that's the shadow. So it could be this. there's, there's a relationship that you need to heal from in order to move forward. A marriage, potentially. It could even be that a marriage, um, that marriage is ready to come into your life once the healing is done. So yeah, Gemini, this is well quite a yeah incredible reading to have such a connection here. I'm yeah touched by this um, and grateful to you for sharing that energy with me because yeah this is very incredible. So I want to say to you, Gemini, to remember who you are, right? To stand in your power, stand in your wisdom, and never, ever, ever forget who you are. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.